What is going on guys? Crypto Money Life Rob back with another video. In this one I want to talk about the new Bitcoin mining ASICs that are on the horizon for next year. So Japanese internet giant GMO is set to invest 10 billion yen in its own 7 nanometer, 5 nanometer, and 3.5 nanometer dedicated Bitcoin chips. This is crazy. New ASICs for Bitcoin with processes of 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and 3.5 nanometers. This is going to drastically reduce the power consumption of Bitcoin mining ASICs and make mining Bitcoin even more profitable. Let's dive into this article. Details on the Japanese internet giant GMO's plan to enter the Bitcoin mining market have been released. So the total investment is expected to be approximately 10 billion yen or roughly 90 million dollars. This includes the establishment and operation of data center as well as the R&D of a series of mining chips. So here's their first card, the 7 nanometer card, and it's going to be PCIe based so you can plug it in to any computer just like you would a GPU so each card will be able to mine at a projected 8 terahashes per second or more with a power consumption of only 300 watts the design logic of the 7 nanometer chip has already been completed and they are expected to operate with about 56 percent of the power of comparable performance and the test version is expected to be completed in 2018 so 8 terahashes at 56 percent of the power consumption of comparable 8 terahash devices right now so that's almost half the power cost you're gonna have to pay for the same amount of terahashes of Bitcoin ASIC power mass production of the 7 nanometer chips will begin in May of next year so we have a little under a full year to wait until these things are available in mass to the public. Uh, their plans also include a 10 terahash card that consumes 500 watts of power. And here's a picture of that. Looks pretty much like the 7 terahash card up here. Except it has a big old heat sink on it. So that one wouldn't be as easy to stack up and make like a ether mining rig with GPUs. You'd need more spacing between the cards. But I really like how these are PCIe based. So you can plug them into a computer system. Or if you have an ether rig, you know, swap out some GPUs for some of these Bitcoin ASICs. And here's just a couple picture of their rig setups here's a eight card rig with their 10 terahash card so this is an 80 terahash rig and here's a 160 terahash rig it has 16 cards of their 10 terahash uh, cards and look at this thing 1250 terahash or 1.25 pentahash mining server that thing looks badass. So that's it. We got some new ASICs on the horizon. These are going to make Bitcoin mining even more profitable with, with these things consuming 56% of the power of comparable performance ASICs today. It's going to be half as much in power consumption costs for the same amount of mining power as rigs today. And they are PCIe based, which is really cool in my opinion. So I'm super excited for these things. Uh, there's no pricing out on them yet. But with, with them consuming only about 50% of the power of ASICs today 
That makes it very intriguing. And this is for their 7 nanometer chip. So their 5 nanometer and 3.5 nanometer are going to be even better than that. I would expect their 3.5 nanometer, which is half of the 7 nanometer, to be about 25% of the power consumption of cards today. So that is a giant leap, and I can't wait for these things to come out. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these new ASICs. Are you excited for them? Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on all my trading, investing, and crypto news. And I will see you in the next video. Check out the links below to see the sites I use to make money in crypto every day.